So getting into validation, um, there are some pretty basic yet helpful uh, methods to this, uh, and it can get all the way from the basic to really, really crazy in depth, depending on what you really want to validate. Um, and at the basic level, let's go ahead and just validate that data was sent. So we'll go ahead and I, I know, I'm sure a lot of you who have you know filled out forms online will see required fields. Uh, many times they just have like an asterisk next to them. So let's go ahead and do that. And we're gonna go ahead and make the label field and the URL field required. And just for fun, we'll go ahead and put a message here. Put that in the paragraph. Save that. So what we need to do is come up here and above our query, we're going to go ahead and run an if statement. So if. And we're going to say if post label is equal to an empty string, then do something. And what we'll do here is just simply echo out a message. Put that in a paragraph, we'll say, you must enter a label. Now this by itself isn't really going to do much. Yes, it's going to send us a message that we need to put in a label. However, it's still going to send that data to the database. So really doesn't do us much good. So what we can do is underneath this message we'll create a variable and we'll call it error. Say error equals true. And let's go ahead and copy this and paste it below and we'll change label to URL and again in the message and we'll keep errors equal to true. And now what we can do is around this query and error handling, we can do an if error is not equal to true. So pretty much error is going to be false if none of these run. in which then the query will run. So let's go ahead and save this and upload it. And load our form. And we'll go ahead and put a label in. We'll leave the URL blank. And go ahead and hit add. You must enter a URL. So this time we'll leave label blank and put in a URL. Click add. You must enter a label. This time we'll leave them both blank. Click add. There you go. So, so we got both of our messages and nothing was put into the database. Now, so that's great. And we're going to do something else really quick. So we do have error handling in place here and that will get things like a um, position not being entered in as numeric. Same with uh, status. Um, but it's also going to show the MySQL error, and uh, that looks more like a failure on the developer part, or the website owner's part, than the user. And if we can avoid that, that would be great. So we can still send out an error message if something's not done right, but allowing it to be the user's fault will make them chalk it up as their own mistake and go ahead and fix it. So let's go ahead and validate those two. So let's go ahead and copy this and paste it below. And we're going to change URL to position. And we're going to change this message. Okay, 
So the proper message is going to come out. However, we need to check to make sure this is a number. So now this is great and all, but if you noticed, if we come in here and intentionally do something wrong, click add, we get our error, but something really annoying happens. And uh, any one of you who's filled out a form, whether it's a small form or a huge form, it's still really irritating. And that is when the form is not sticky meaning say you had an error and you need to go in there and correct it but all the data is gone from the form so you have to re-input everything this is not only annoying but it leaves room for you to accidentally leave something out again maybe in a different field which means you'll have to do this all over again so let's go ahead and make this sticky so I first need to save a copy of this